Hi guys, I'm Rebecca. And I am Brooklyn. Welcome to Kids Yoga. Today's yoga class is for all ages and all levels of yoga. Brooklyn, how long have you been doing yoga? I've been doing yoga for four years. Wow, four years, that's amazing. But don't worry if you've never done yoga before. We're gonna take you through some really basic yoga poses. We're gonna do sun salutation, play a game, and some mindfulness. So all you're gonna to need today is the ground beneath you, and if you have a beach ball available, grab that. See you on the mat. Okay, so we're gonna stay at the top of our mat, with our hands to our heart center. Before we begin our sun salutations, we have to teach you the secret. Yoga password. <gasps> Do you remember what it is? Yeah. Go whisper. Namaste. The secret yoga password is Namaste. Don't tell anybody the secret yoga password. It gets you into the secret yoga club. So bring your hands to your heart center. Your thumbs are going to be pointed inwards towards your heart to thank yourself for showing up to yoga. Your pinky fingers are pointed out to thank your friends and family for supporting you in yoga. The rest of our fingers are pointed up towards the sun to thank her for life. On three, we begin our yoga class. One, two, three. Namaste. 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 Okay, boys and girls, we're going to run through sun salutation. And this is just a really simple warm up to thank Miss Sun for life. So let's bring our hands to our heart center. Take a moment here to take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Tadasana. Why are we in Tadasana? So we can and reach up and touch the sun. Bend down and kiss the earth. Look up and watch those bluebirds fly. Jump back and watch those ants go by. Face up, I smell the air. Press back without a care. Five deep breaths here. I love the sun, we're all one. I love the light that shines so bright. Get ready, get set, go! Reach up, I lift my heart. Bend down, just like the start. Reach up and touch the sun. Namaste, we're all done. We're gonna do two more and Brooklyn's gonna guide us through. So top of the mat, hands to the heart center. Tadasana. Why are we in Tadasana? So we can reach up and touch the sun. Bend down and kiss the earth. Look up and watch those bluebirds fly. Jump back and watch those ants go by. Face up and smell the air. Press back without a care. Five deep breaths here. I love the sun. We're all one. I love the light that shines so bright. Get ready. Get set. Go. Jump up. I lift my heart. Bend down just like the start. Reach up and touch the sun. Namaste. We're all done. Awesome job, Brooke. And you ready to do round three? Yep. Tadasana. Why are we in Tadasana? So we can reach up and touch the sun. Bend down and kiss the earth. Look up and watch those bluebirds fly. Jump back and watch those ants go by. Face up, I smell the air. Press back without a hair. Five deep breaths here. I love the sun, we're all one. I love the light that shines so bright. Get ready, get set, go! Jump up, I lift my heart. Bend down, just like the start. Reach up and touch the sun. Namaste, we're all done. Yes! <laughs> just, so that sun salutation was made special just for kids. Brooklyn and I actually came up with it about four years ago. A copy of the sun salutation that we use. It'll be listed down below. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go over five basic yoga poses. Brooklyn's gonna be my model. 
So follow along at home because you have to know these yoga poses to play beach ball yoga. So Brooklyn's gonna start at Tadasana, which is hand grip for mountain pose. As you can see, Brooklyn's head's directly on top of her shoulders. Her shoulders are pulled down away from the ears. Her navel's pulled into her spine. She's gonna look down and make sure her feet are facing the same direction. What Brooklyn's gonna do is she's gonna take her right foot and take a giant step back. Okay, boys and girls, now that we're warmed up, we're gonna go ahead and learn some basic yoga poses. Brooklyn here is gonna be a beautiful example of how to do these poses. So Brooklyn, go ahead and get to the top of your mat. Shoulders are pulled down and away from the ears. Hands are to the side. Brooklyn's gonna take a giant step back with her right foot. Then what she's gonna do, both her toes right now are pointing towards the top of the mat. Hands are gonna come straight up. Once Brooklyn is comfortable here, she has a deep bend in that front knee, she's gonna drop her back heel. Now, when you drop your back heel, this hip might want to open. Don't let it. So this is a great example of warrior one. Our hips and our shoulders are pointing towards the top of the mat. From here, what Brooklyn's going to do is spin on that back foot and open up to warrior two. So here we go. Brooklyn is in a beautiful warrior two here. Let's bring this belly in just a little bit. Still put a deep bend in this front knee. Eyes are looking over this right, right fingertip. Back leg is straight. Beautiful warrior two. So now from warrior two, Brooklyn's gonna come into reverse warrior. She's gonna drop this back hand here. She's gonna lift up and out of her side body. This is reverse warrior. It's almost like a half moon shape of your body, as Brooklyn pointed out to me. From half, from reverse warrior, Brooklyn's gonna come back to warrior two. Warrior two. Over these fingertips. Then she's gonna spin off that back foot. Chest and hips are pointing towards the top of the mat and come into warrior three. Holding it here, release that foot back down. Crescent lunge. Brooklyn's going to open up her crescent lunge and come into a pointed strong star. Everything Brooklyn is doing is strong and fierce. fierce. So now let's prepare for left side. Brooklyn's going to spin up that back foot again, come to Tadasana at the top of her mat. Hold that Tadasana here. This time she's going to take a giant step back with her left foot. Crescent lunge. Crescent, yes. Good job. See how Brooklyn made her adjustments there? From here, Brooklyn is going to bring her arms straight up and out. And then she's going to drop that back heel coming into warrior one. Toes are still pointing towards the top of the mat. Good job, Brooklyn. Deep in this front knee, hips, chest, perfect. From here, Brooklyn's going to turn and face the back of the room. Brooklyn's coming into warrior two. So you're gonna have a nice angle of how this looks on the back side. Deep bend in this knee, gaze is over the fingers. This back leg is straight, pushing at the outer edge. You need a lot of balance for yoga. So from here, Brooklyn's gonna drop her back arm, coming into reverse warrior. Perfect. Stretching out, but don't forget that bend in that knee. Woo! We're gonna have a little trouble on that reverse warrior there. <laughs> so that front leg, you wanna make sure you have a deep bend in it. That back leg is straight, coming out of the hips. And listen, there's no right way or wrong way to do yoga. Just keep breathing. We're gonna spin with that back foot. Come back into that crescent lunge. Push off that back foot. Coming into warrior three. Bring that foot back down to meet the right foot. To dust. We've gotten our basic standing poses. Brooklyn's going to show you how to do child's pose, tabletop, and down top. 
So if we're going to go ahead and get into child's pose. So child's pose is my favorite pose. It's a beautiful resting pose. And any time during your day, if you feel that you need to calm your energy down, or maybe just come to a little bit more of a safer place, this posture is beautiful. As you can see, Brooklyn looks like a beautiful little rock. She is protecting her heart. Her head is resting gently on the mat. Her glutes are back towards her heels and her palms are facing up. And she's holding my hand, it's the cutest thing. Her palms are facing up, accepting positive energy from the world around her. From here, Brooklyn's gonna come on up and come to a neutral spine tabletop position. So she's gonna come to her hands and knees. As you can see, Brooklyn has a little bit of a space in between her knees. Her knees are directly underneath her hips. She's going to bring her hands back just a little bit so that her hands are directly underneath her shoulders. Her stomach is flat, her back is flat, and her neck is neutral. This is tabletop position. From tabletop, Brooklyn's going to tuck her back toes underneath her and she's gonna hinge back into down dog. Beautiful down dog here, Brooklyn. She's gonna check her fingers and make sure they're all pointing up towards the top of the mat. Her head is relaxed. She's gonna shake her head yes, and then she's gonna shake her head no. And then she's gonna take her feet, she's gonna walk them up to the top of her hands, and then she's gonna come into a forward fold from here, and then she's gonna reverse swan all the way up and bring her hands to her heart center. Perfect. So if you have a beach ball available, great. If not, you could use a balloon, you could use a basketball, a little soccer ball. I have different yoga poses written on our wall. So I will then go ahead and, we're going to stand right there, I am going to gently, because we're in the house, toss it to Brooklyn. She's going to catch it. Wherever her right hand lands, that's the yoga pose that we do three times. So Brooklyn, where did your hand land? Um, warrior three. Okay, so Brooklyn is going to do warrior three, three times. But here's the catch. The player who catches the ball in the house, Toss it to Brooklyn. She's going to catch it. Wherever her right hand lands, that's the yoga pose that we do three times. So Brooklyn, where did your hand land? Um, warrior three. Okay, so Brooklyn is going to do warrior three, three times. But here's the catch. The player who catches the ball is also the player that teaches the pose. Because guess what? The best way to learn something is to teach it. So Brooklyn, you're in charge. How do I do warrior three? So you are going to put your hands here. Okay. You're going to have a straight, straight leg turn straight back. And you're going to take your right leg and you're going to pull it back. And then do I lean forward? Yes. Woo! Okay. I got it. Let's do it two more times. Should we do the left foot this time? Yep. Okay, teach me. Okay, you're going to do the same thing. Straight back and straight leg. Take a leg. Ooh, this is harder on the left side <laughs> on the right side. <gasps> okay, last one. Show me how to do it on the right side. You're just going to do the same thing again. Take your legs, have a straight legs and straight back. Take your right leg. Lift it up and put it back. Awesome. Okay, Brooklyn, you're going to throw me the ball this time and I'm going to catch it. Oh. <laughs> Five pointed star. Okay, I get to teach it. So everybody stand in Tadasana. Now, you got to listen real careful on this one. Ready? Jump up. Woo! Five pointed star. Jump in. Five pointed star. In. Five pointed star. In. Hope you enjoyed that game of beach ball yoga. I have a lot of different fun yoga games I like to play in classes and at school. 
So if you'd like some more ideas for fun yoga games, just let me know. This is the point of the class where we come into mindfulness. And mindfulness really is just becoming present in the moment and utilizing some of our deep breathing techniques, which I'm gonna go over with you. All you're gonna need is the ground beneath you and maybe a comfortable spot. Also, if you have a stuffed animal or a breathing buddy nearby, go ahead and grab him. Okay, guys. So if you have a stuffed animal nearby, go ahead and grab it. These stuffed animals are what we call our breathing buddies in mindfulness. Brooklyn is joined today by Barry. Brooklyn has Barry laying gently on her belly. So go ahead and grab your breathing buddy and put him gently on your belly facing you. Go ahead and watch your breathing buddy as you take a deep inhale through your nose. Notice your breathing buddy going up, up, up. And as you exhale through your mouth, your breathing buddy goes down. Just go ahead and watch your breathing buddy move slowly and gently up and down. And as your breathing buddy continues to move up and down, your body becomes completely still, weightless on top of your mat. The only thing you have to do right here, right now, is concentrate on your deep inhalations and exhalations. As your body becomes completely relaxed, all of a sudden you notice a beautiful, big, fluffy cloud above you. This magical cloud is floating directly above your body. So you decide to grab your breathing buddy and jump on this cloud. As you lay down, you know how safe you feel in this magic cloud. It's supporting you from underneath you. The magical cloud begins to go up, up, up to the sky. Float through the sky, rocking back and forth. The wind is blowing through your hair. The sun is shining on your skin like a warm blanket wrapping all around you. Your breathing buddy sound asleep on your belly. Yes, he knows. The magical cloud begins to rock back and forth, all of a sudden dropping down towards the ground. You realize you're safe on the ground, so you jump off your magical cloud. As you open your eyes and look around, you are in your very favorite place. What does this place look like? Where is the one place this magical cloud is taking? The one place you can go and know everything's going to be just fine. That you are going to be safe. Think about all of the sounds that you would hear there. What are the sights that you see? You look around and you see all the images in your favorite place. You take a deep breath in through your nose. And you smell all the scents that come with your magical place. What are you smelling? Do you smell cotton candy? Maybe salt from the ocean. You reach down and you pick an object up off the ground. You put it in your hands. You roll it around. What does it feel like in your hands? You listen real closely. What are the sounds that are all around you? Is it kids laughing? Maybe the ocean waves. Maybe the sounds of roller coasters. Whatever it is, it's so familiar. And it makes you feel so calm and so relaxed. The magical cloud tells you it's time to go. So you and your breathing Jump back onto your magical cloud as it lifts you up, up, away from your magical place. You look over the side and you look down at it and wave, bye magical place, I'll be back soon. 
the cloud begins to drift you higher and higher and higher, rocking you back and forth. It feels so good. The wind is blowing through your hair. The sun is shining down on your beautiful face. A light smile comes to your lips and happiness fills your heart. You feel so safe and secure. You and the magical cloud and your greedy buddy begin to rock slowly down towards your home. Drifting closer and closer to your mat. The magical cloud pauses right above your mat. You look down at the mat. You look back at the magical cloud and say thank you, your mat. A sense of happiness washes over your body. Knowing that at any point throughout your day, you can go back to your magical place by simply coming to stillness. Go ahead and begin to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Bring your awareness back to where you are in your mat. Opening your eyes and giving your breathing buddy three big rides. Inhale deeply. Mr. Becca in Brooklyn decided to do a video on yoga for kids yoga and mindfulness. So we're in a time right now that really we might feel out of control, especially because we can't go back to a very familiar place such as school. Brooklyn, how do you feel knowing that you're not going to be able to go back and see your teacher and your classmates for another month? Really sad. You feel really sad? That's honest. Do you feel really happy though that you don't have to do all eight hours of schoolwork and then two hours of homework? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's good to it as well. Making sure that we always concentrate on the positive, staying present in the moment is mindfulness. Before we end class today, I wanted to give you two more really great breathing techniques. The first one is called Take Five. Brooklyn, do you want to explain how to do Take Five? Great. So, take. So what you're going to do to take five is you're going to grab one hand and your other hand you're going to take your pointer finger. You're going to grab your pointer finger and you're going to up your thumb. When you go up your thumb, you're going to inhale. Then go down, exhale. And then you get on your pointer. How do you feel when you take five? I feel way more calm. And when was it? When was a time that maybe you can take five? Maybe like when you get sad that you can't go to school and see your friends. Or maybe when your mom's yelling at you because we have to homeschool. Mom doesn't know how to homeschool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Parents, great thing to do is take five. So that's one way that we can kind of redirect those feelings that we're having inside and the anxiety, fear, and maybe even some overexcitement. So when someone tells you to calm down, that's a great way to calm yourself down. So we have one other breathing technique that we like to do, and it's called the hook up. And this is a really great thing to do if you're out in public and you might be feeling a little bit of anxiety. You're gonna take your hands out in front of you, Cross one hand on top of the other. Bring your palms together so your hands are connected. You're going to inhale and bring those hands up, over. You're going to bring, did I get You're going to inhale and bring those fists underneath and up. And then you're going to exhale and bring them back out. So we inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale. One more time. Good job. 
And your so breathing gets a little bit out of control. You can use either one of these breathing techniques to help calm a racing mind and a racing heart. So from our home to yours, we wish you nothing but happiness and health, and we cannot wait to see you once this is all over. We're gonna bring our hands together. You're gonna take your thumbs to your heart center. Your pinkies are pointed out and fingers are pointed up. And on three, we're gonna end the way we began. One, two, three. Namaste. 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 Yes. All right, I think we're done. I hope we're done. <laughs> oh, I'm here now. Oh, I didn't get that. Oh, wait, wait, wait.